Hello all, and welcome to another video from Igne. Uh Today we're going to be continuing in the Versus series that I've been doing, where we go and compare two ants that are very uh, similar to try to sh uh, showcase when and how they are best to be used, or if one is better than the other. But before we get into that, as always, I do have to give a shout out to the, our sponsor, uh, I am sponsored by Aptoid, where using my code, you can get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases. Now, as of the 15th, the code will change. The code is posted on the screen and will be in the description down below, as well as a video of how you can be able to maximize and take advantage of this very special offer. So head on over there, get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases. Alrighty, so we will jump right into it. So today we are going to compare and contrast Reapmaster and Wise Berserker. As always, what we'll do is we'll go one skill at a time on each one to be able to showcase which one is better, stronger, peak damage, um, as well as to be able to determine if it needs other assistant ants to make it any better. So without further ado, we'll get right on into it. So we'll start with the Wise Berserker first. Obviously this skill, um, the first skill, the third skill, the fourth skill, and the uh, sixth skill are all pretty much the same between all ants in the game. So um, we're not going to discuss those. So we'll go right into the actual skill damage uh, ants. So for the second skill, uh, and I need to go down to, because I have it upgraded. Uh, okay, so level 10. After a normal uh, attack, has a 60% chance to do 300% plus special land, uh, damage level 1 to the enemy's front line. So, a normal attack happens pretty much uh, any time in any round. Uh, most ants, whether or not they actually fire off a skill or not, uh, they almost always have normal damage. So what this is doing is... Obviously, it would be 350% uh, if you have it at level 50. Has a 60% chance to do 350 of that base attack damage. So then we'll go look at the Reap Master. And it, it needs to be uh, noted, too, that with the Reap Master, it also has an Awakening, which helps it out quite a bit, which we'll go into that. So for skill 2, has a 40% chance to deal 308 plus special ant level times 5%. Damage to one enemy, uh, one random enemy squad within effective range. So that gives you uh, right around a possibility of 700 and something um, percent damage, but it has a lower possibility to proc. So when comparing and contrasting the both of them, you could tell that uh, the Wise Berserker skill 2 is more able and more. Uh, consistent to be able to proc, whereas the Reap Master, even though it has a high damage threshold, it won't be able to proc um, as much. But with that special ant level times 5%, so it's a 50 times 5% of the 50, you can get anywhere up to about 700% uh, damage with that. So, to compare and contrast, um, obviously the Reap Master has the higher peak damage, whereas the um, Wise Berserker does not. It has more of a consistent. And we'll go right into the next one. So for the Reap Master, Thrill of the Hunt, uh, prepares for one round, has a 30% chance to deal 316% damage, plus special ant level plus 5% to one random enemy squad within effective range and suppress them, causing them to be unable to move for two rounds. So that's good because it has a suppress as well, which obviously we've discussed this before. Suppress can essentially make it so they cannot have any skill damage when they hit you. Now, the bad thing about this is not only is it only a 30% chance, even though it has a high possible peak damage, uh, it's also prepared for one round. So out of all the rounds that you can have uh, of the eight possible rounds uh, you're only going to have max possibility of it triggering four times now we'll go look over at wise zerker where it is after a normal attack has a 60 percent chance to deal 250 percent plus special ant times one percent damage to 100 
or to two in meat ram squads. So right there, as you can see, has a higher chance to proc, plus especially on damage. So you're looking at 300% to two, uh, two random squads, giving you a total max peak damage of this ant at 600%. So that's pretty good. Um, it's also showing the like right here more of the consistency of the um, wise Zerker versus the explosive power of the remaster. And we'll go right into the next one, which is shooter and attack. These ones usually don't change much between um, the two, but we'll look at this. This one's a, a, a ant attack and march speed. And the last skill. Uh, in in rounds number two, five, seven has a forty five percent chance to deal two hundred and fifty percent plus special amp level times four damage to three random enemy squads within effective range. So right there, that's uh, two ninety times three, so right around seven hundred and thirty percent damage. So again, you're you're seeing the explosive possibility, but again, its chances of proc is very low. And for the Wise Berserker, it's pretty easy. In the squad, normal attack and skill damage plus 50%. So with that, what that is doing, since all of its skills are based off of normal attack to begin with, that allows it to be even more increased, allowing you for more consistent damage. And then the one thing we have to take into consideration that is different is the Reap Master's um, Awakening. So in the second and the fourth round, Reap Master has 50% chance to deal 460 damage to all enemy squads, which is good. It increases a little bit more of a chance to actually deal damage. Um, has a 50% chance to inflict exhausted effect. Enemy damage dealt minus 30% for one round, which is also very good. Increases the skill damage dealt to multiple targets by 10%. So all of the skills that it has where it's hitting two lines or a possibility of all three lines that increases by 10 percent which is good all right so compare and contrast what makes which better so as i stated throughout the video so far you can see that the wise berserker is more in depth to, to have a consistent damage where it does not have a peak damage or so much of an explosive damage whereas reap master has the explosive damage of being able to hit those really, really hard hits, which is better. Uh, they're not really a better or worst case scenario really in the situation because one is more consistent damage, you get more damage that happens um, at a very consistent rate, whereas the Reap Master is more explosive. Now, with that being said, that also means that during like things like the Penguin where only the top five hits count or during like Groundhog where you're trying to get that top score on your server, that's where the Reap Master will actually benefit you more than the Wise Berserker. The Wise Berserker is more for combat, but you can make the argument that Reap Master obviously is too, um, especially with the exhaust and the um, ability to be able to silence them. Both are very good ants, and you can use them in the same lineup. Now, with Wise Berserker, it also has an ant that can help it, and that ant being the Nimble Tree Ant. And the reason why that is, is because if you look right here, um, it has the chance of increasing your entire uh, March's normal attack by 120% on that. And um, also increasing their skill damage taken by 40%. And the skill which allows two enemy squads to uh, normal attack one more time lasting for one one more uh, round. So as we are discussed throughout it, uh, the Wise Berserker is very reliant on normal attack. Um, so the ability to, to increase that will increase the overall damage that it can output, meaning that the nimble being paired with the Wise Berserker is the absolute best way to be able to maximize the Wise Berserker. So, but as you can see, I use them both. I have the Wise Berserker down in one of my marches that I use, um, and it works out great. I have the Reap Master in my Pro. Uh, depending on what I'm doing, I might switch out and put Wise Berserker in my second line, but overall, it's a very good ant. Anyway, 
this video is over. I hope that uh, the information provided is helpful. And uh, if you have any video requests or anything like that, make sure you put them in the comments below or in my Discord. And I'll be happy to cover any topic that you wish me to do. With that, Agni is out. Thank you so much.